Hey friends. So this is a get ready video with me. This is the final look. I wanted to show you the way I get ready in my makeup routine and my hair routine kind of. So um, you could see how I create this glamorous look. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching and you're gonna see me looking completely crazy in one second. Hello, my dears. So I thought it would be fun to film a get ready with me. I have washed my hair, I have put my sunscreen on and my, and my skincare routine and gotten dressed for this quarantine lifestyle. I have some lessons to teach online and I wanted to share with you a makeup look for every day that I do. I have worn the same makeup look for a thousand years, it seems, and it's very simple. And I feel like maybe some of those ladies out there might like to know how to, you know, just get a nice, natural, professional-ish look that looks good all day. So skincare is quite important and I might need to make another video about that because um, you need to have a good foundation. Even, even if you're having problems with your skin, you just need to, you know, prep it and everything needs to be there at first and put on your sunscreen too. <laughs> so this is the first thing. Um, I love this. This is amazing. I use this every day. All you do is you use these lovely hands that the universe gave you, put them together, and then you just pat it on. You don't need a beauty blender. You don't need a brush. You don't need anything except the best tools that you have, actually, which are these lovely things. So I'm going to pat this in, and um, it might take a little while, so I might fast forward. This will see. Um, but I hope you're all doing well in this funny quarantine time. It's actually quite peaceful. It's whatever you make it, you know. You can make it either heaven or hell, I think. So I'm choosing to make it fabulous and heavenly. That's my, my goal during this time. So once that's all kind of blended in, just pat it down. And by the way, if you're not familiar with this it Cosmetics CC Cream, none of this stuff is sponsored. <laughs> none of this is sponsored. Um, it, it's kind of almost like a skincare thing anyway. Like I think it was developed by dermatologists to actually use post-procedure, like laser treatment or something. I really, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it's kind of a good for your skin kind of thing. So you can see the the foundation or whatever this is, the CC cream is there. And then the next thing I do is I take a little concealer. This is also by It Cosmetics. I'm not really a fan of this um, for whatever reason. It says I lift in a tube, in a tube, but I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> There's another one that I was using. It was a sample by Laura Mercier. And I just put a couple dabs, you know, in some YouTube videos you see like, like a crazy white streak there, but you just need a little bit. And then the other end is an illuminator, whatever that means. So just a couple of little dabs there. And you just pat, 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 pat gently. You never want to kind of smear. I might be using the wrong finger. I think you're supposed to use your fourth finger or your ring finger. But anyway, there we go. Just like that. You know, I think it's good to have a morning routine, a happy, healthy morning routine. I'm very lucky my other half brings me a cup of coffee in the morning <laughs> and um, I get to read my book a little bit or do my little Instagram or YouTube posts or whatever it is that I'm doing. Organize my thoughts for the week. I like to read as well. I've been reading a little bit in the morning. Um, and then I, I just got a harp so I've been playing my harp a little bit. I try to do my exercise, all that kind of thing. Anyway, next step is to apply a setting powder. This one's like $5. It smells a little strong. <laughs> I'm not really, I mean, it works, but there was another one that I used forever. It was the Laura Mercier um, setting powder or something. And that works really well. It doesn't have this kind of smell. So it comes with a little puff, but I don't use this. I just dump some of it into the lid like this, not too much. And then I take a powder brush and just go around like this. And you know, it, this is not really meant to go all over your face, at least in my case. I use this to set my eye area and just kind of um, mute the T-zone a little bit. And you know, when you 
teach online or when you're when you're using the computer and you're kind of working on these video conferences or whatever they are um, it's nice to not look super shiny okay so that's that and I just kind of put it you know in my t-zone area just a teeny bit along here not going on my cheeks or anything and it just sets everything so that's that and then the next step is apply a little either blush or bronzer. This is from Bare Minerals. It is in the shade Faux Tan and it's a loose bronzer and I just use a tiny little bit of this. This is great. So I'm gonna just put a little bit just like this much, barely anything. Taking another brush. This is a this is a Chanel brush that I've had for like 15 years. I just, I remember being in San Francisco once, um, my aunt used, well, my aunt lives there and we went into a Chanel store and I bought this. <laughs> so anyway, you just put it right on the corners there, just around the edges, just to warm your face up a little bit. And then this is my secret eyeshadows. Well, you, this is a very important technique. You do this <laughs> and then you do this. You just go straight across in the crease, just like so. And if you need to blend it, just take the big powder brush and just go over it like that. This is a Sephora brush, Sephora um, Pro Featherweight Powder Brush 91, 91 brush. Okay, next little step is if you wanna put a little blush on, this is by It Cosmetics. I like this. This is in the Je Ne Sais Quoi shade. And you just take a little bit like this and you just go just to warm up your skin a little bit like this. Okay, and I know I'm looking at, not looking at you because I'm trying to see what I'm doing. So there we go. And maybe just a little bit in the eyeballs. Okay. All right, next step is, um, let's see. I usually crimp my eyelashes next. So, um, I don't know what happened. Oh, here's my little mirror. I have a little hand mirror that I use. This was like $5 <laughs> from um, Ulta. One side is kind of um, like 5X and then the one's like normal. So you just look at that. You crimp your lashes, one, two, three, four, five. Other side, one, two, three, four, five. And when you do that, it just kind of lifts your lashes away from your eyes. And I actually have quite long eyelashes. I don't know if you can see, I got these from my dad. <laughs> but they're also because I use um, really good oils on my skin and I use uh, Revita Lash as well. I've been using that for a long time. So the next step is to do your eyeliner. And um, if you're blonde, you know, black looks very good, but brown looks even a little bit more natural. So this is by NYX, and it is the um, Epic Ink Liner in Brown. It says it's waterproof. Um, and I use coconut oil to just take my makeup off or, you know, the um, Garnier micellar water. So here's, here's how to use this. It's, it's a little pen tip like this. You want to be very, very light. Less is more. So you just start at the inner corner and you just lightly go across. Just like that to the end of your lash line like this. So it's kind of barely there. And then if you want to add a little wing, you just do that. <laughs> so it's nice to have a little bit of a wing actually. Here's the other side, but you don't want too much of a wing. You know, if you're trying to look professional, you just basically want to go for a natural look. And the, the less makeup you have, the um, less you have to worry about kind of touching it up. It kind of just blends in with your skin after a while. <laughs> so that's that. And then I usually like to use a little um, lash primer, um, but I ran out of that and 
this is my favorite mascara. It's L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And this is in the shade Black is Black. But I um, I like to use black brown. I just, I kind of, this is all they had. <laughs> so I just bought this. And I'm out of the same brand. The same brand makes a really nice lash primer. So L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara and Lash Primer. Sometimes they're sold as a little set. So when you put your mascara on, you just, I always start at the root. So you just start right at the root and you're gonna pull upwards like this, just in like little back and forth strokes, just like that. And um, then you're gonna go back to the other side or you're gonna go to the other side, add a little more. There you go. So here's the other side, let's see. There we go, starting at the root and then just wiggling up. This mascara is like $10. I've used many, many, many mascaras and some mascaras make my eyes water and um, they just don't look that good either. Like they flake off and stuff. This never does that and it doesn't hurt my eyes for whatever reason. So there, that's one coat and I'm gonna go back just a little bit and fix the other side without dipping back in. And um, there we go. Fix the other side just a little bit. And then I actually like to get my eyelashes dyed, but since we are in quarantine, <laughs> the dye has, it's no longer there. So I don't usually like to put it on the bottom lashes because they're already dyed black for me, but I need to do that. So I'm gonna just go in and lightly get the top only. So even though my lashes are a little longer, I'm just kind of getting the top because if I go all the way down to the lash, it's gonna um, get on my skin. So I don't want to do that. So just like this, just dab. And sometimes I make a little mess. So, oh, there. So that's that. And now, without any lips and without any eyebrows, I definitely look a little crazy. So I think the next thing that I'm gonna do is, I actually could use a little bit of something on my lips at the moment. So let's see what I have here. Ah, nope, that's the same thing. I have a little bag of lipsticks because I'm the person that needs to have a thousand lipsticks. This is by L'Occitane. And I really like L'Occitane. It's um, in the shade 70 Rouge de Fruit Fruity Lipstick, made in France. It looks just like this. It's from this brand L'Occitane. So just a little color. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Makes a big difference. And here's my bag of lipsticks. So that's that. Now for the um, eyebrows, it's very tricky when you're blonde. Um, because our eyebrows are quite fair. So this is by Anastasia, and I've had this for at least a year, I think. This is in the shade Taupe. Taupe. And I'm using a Sephora Pro Brow 20 brush. It's got a little thing on the end, and then the little brush here. So what I do is I um, use the cap here. I've put some product in the cap here, and I just wipe it back and forth, back and forth. And then I always start at the arch of my eyebrow. So I don't know if this is the way you should do it, but this is how I do it. So right at the very arch right here, that's where I'm going to start. And I'm gonna go upwards. So little upwards strokes like this. All right, and then I'm gonna go do the tail. So the tail, starting at the top of the brow and just going down like this. And then I'm gonna just lightly bring some of this um, product forward. So just like that. And I, for whatever reason, I always do the upper part of the brow. So it's very sparsely covered and I'm gonna use my little spoolie and blend things together. Cause you don't want a lot of product at the beginning of your brow here. So you just blend, 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 and then you just go down, up, and then down, and then I just kind of use my finger and 
take whatever, if any of that got on my skin, I just take that away like that. So there's one eyebrow. I'm gonna go back and get some more product here. And then the same thing, especially with eyebrows, less is more. I'm gonna go to the arch here and just go upwards, up, like that. And then I'm gonna just take the tail down. So there's that. And then just a little bit forwards, just a little bit. And then I use this to blend, just like the other side, trying to pull some of the product forward this way so that I can distribute it across my the front part of my brow. Now I'm just blending backwards and then downwards, upwards, and then downwards there. And then, of course, the magical tool, your finger, just take the rest away, blend that in just like that. Okay, so <clears throat> the last step um, is you can apply a little finishing spray. I like to use um, rose water. I have this organic Bulgarian rose water from Altea Organics that I um, I like, and I put a little drop of um, therapeutic grade lavender in there, and I just spray my face down, and then just use a fan and dry it, and that's kind of that. So now the next step is to do the hair. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you in the bathroom to do the hair. All right, lovelies. So we are in my bathroom now. And I'm going to show you some of the products I like to use on my hair. So um, hair routine stuff is very important as well. Having beautiful hair is so <laughs> awesome. It's a really important asset to so look after your hair. And I might film some videos on the things that I've done to help my hair over the years. Because if you look at my old videos, my hair looks horrifying. So, and now it looks less horrifying, I think. So <clears throat> one of the things that I... I use is this. This is the Keratin Complex brand. You can get this at Ulta. I think they have it on Amazon too. Um, you might be able to find it in my Amazon store. I think I actually put that there. So I'll link that below, by the way. This is the first step. This is something else that I really love. This is kind of more like a cream, whereas this is like a spray. Keratin Complex Infusion. Keratin Replen Replenisher. And um, it's a, it just kind of helps your hair blow dry and um, cuts the drying time, fights for his replenishing moisture and shine. And I love this. And then this is um, a new thing that I've been using and I really like it. It has a very nice smell. Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray, keratin-like treatment in a can. And it's also a heat protectant up to, uh, well, it says 232 degrees C, so I'm not really sure how hot that is. But apparently you can use this while your hair is wet and after. I usually use it when it's dry to just kind of put in as a heat protectant if I do my, if I curl my um, bangs at all. So anyway, let's take this down. And I just, if you were, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen today's funny morning routine was doing an egg and olive oil and castor oil hair mask and then working out, <laughs> and it was really funny to work out with an egg in my hair. I've never done that before, but I just thought I would get two things done at once. So I'm just gonna spray my hair down like this. And I'll just go ahead and tell you the things that I've done over the years. It's really important, I'm trying to grow my hair out. It's really important that you um, get your hair cut regularly because you need to get rid of those split ends and your hair will grow you know, nice and fast, don't worry. If I get my hair cut every six to eight weeks. Um, and I also get it keratin. Um, keratin keeps your hair strong and it also helps, I have curly hair as you can see, with um, kind of straightening your hair too. If, you're, if you have curly hair, it fights frizz and you cannot actually, depends on how many times they go through with the iron, they can straighten it. So I kind of have, I, I think my, lovely hairdresser. She does it seven times through and I go to Ulta. I've been to a few places that do keratin and the keratin treatment they have at Ulta is the best. So it is very expensive to do but you you know you can't buy beautiful hair. You just it's like a an asset that you look after. <laughs> so you must look after it. So now I'm all set to blow dry it and I will see you in just a little bit. So this is kind of the finished 
um, product, but it's not styled yet. <laughs> so let me just show you. This is my fabulous, babyless hair dryer. All these things that I'm using are I've linked for you on my Amazon store, so you don't have to go find them if you were looking for one. I just go through my hair and dry very almost dry, and then I put it in sections, and I just round brush it with this fabulous round brush. This is by Ceramic and Ion. This might be on my store. I can't remember if I found this or not. Ceramic and Ion. It's a nice big round brush, and I just go through. And then the next and last step is to just kind of curl my bangs, this bang area. So this is by Hot Tools, and this is on my little store. And I put it on at right in the center. I guess it's at like 350. And I like this because it has a little heat thing because you don't want to put too much heat on your hair. So I'm going to just use this now. And I'm going to spray my whole head, even though I'm just going to do style the front. I just, I love this. And it does keep your hair nice and protected. So give it a shake. And then I just do this. It does smell really good. <laughs> really, really good. I would highly recommend it. It was recommended to be by my hairdresser, Bethany, at Ulta. Any of you guys that live in Philadelphia, you should definitely go to Ulta on Walnut in the city to see, to see my lovely girl, Bethany. She's wonderful. So that's it for the products. I'm going to just let my um, roller thingy heat up and I'll show you how I curl my hair, okay? <laughs> All right, friends, I put on some of my jewelry that I wear every day. Jewelry is a nice little touch, as long as it's not too much, just keep it nice and simple. I like to wear little bracelets um, and have some earrings in too. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just grab a little section and you're gonna hold it like this. So not like this, like where it's all tight like this, you're gonna fan it out. Right hand, left hand, open, put this in, and then put it around and see if you can keep the hair kind of open because it's gonna wanna kind of tighten up. So you're gonna just keep it like this. And I just hold it like this for maybe 15 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, and then you just let it go. It does that, and I like to do that for maybe three or four little sections. So I'm gonna just do the same thing. See how it's flayed open like this? This is a really important tip, you need to know this. <laughs> so behind, and twirl around. Oops, and I, sorry, I can't see it over here. You're gonna leave a little tail out like this, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just like that. I probably could have curled it a little bit more down the bottom there. Then the last section I do usually is just right here along the side. So, I'm going to do this. Oops. See, you want it to look kind of natural, and you don't want to look too overly done, you know, it's a French thing. <laughs> not that I'm French, but um, you want to look put together, but not like you tried too hard, for example. So I'm going to do another little wrap around the bottom. I forgot where I am counting. Something like that. All right. And then I'm going to do the other side. So hand switch, and I'm going to find my bang area, so just a tiny bit. Lay it like this, and then open, put it behind, and then just wrap around. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then I'm going to get the side that's right here. You don't want it to be a too big of a section, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. You wrap that around, something's gotten stuck. One, two, three, it's kind of a mess. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There we go. 
And one more section. Let me just grab this right here. And, and then I will show you the completed look <laughs> and outfit of the, of the day. So, all right, friends. So there's a balloon flying in front of you. This is leftover from Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so it's there, well, it's right there behind you. So I'm gonna just shake my hair out. We just came out of the bathroom and just give it a little shake. I don't put anything else in my hair. If it's really frizzy, I might just put a little drop of castor oil in there, but it just kind of gives your hair some body when you curl the front lashes, or not lashes, um, curl the whatever these are. So I'm gonna just show you my outfit of the day. So I have a lovely little pencil skirt. It's silk or satiny silk material. It's from a really cute store called Zelda. And then this top is from Silver Moon Antiques. They're both um, stores here in the Philadelphia area. I will try and link them below Silver Moon Antiques for the top and some fabulous other things. And then the Zelda store, Zelda, which is actually in New Hope. So I, I'm so glad you came along with me for the get ready. Um, for those of you that are just maybe not sure how to get ready, <laughs> it took me many years. It's, a, it's something that you need time to perfect. It's better to do less, try to keep things simple, and um, just don't like over, try not to overdo your look, especially when you're, you know, trying to just, that's not the point, maybe. The point is whatever it is that, so for example, I'm a music teacher, and the point is for me to teach music and look nice and comforting and, you know, put together. So that my message that I'm trying to portray is received well, you know. So anyways, I'm gonna love and leave you with that, you guys. See you in the next video. And all of the stuff, at least most of the stuff that I use today will be linked below in my Amazon store. So please check out my Amazon store. There's also some violin and viola stuff there too, you'll see. Violin stuff, viola stuff, and beauty stuff. <laughs> so see you there. Bye.